All right, welcome everybody to Money Moves Sunday. I'm your host, Jay Rock. We're going to look at the markets, see what news is coming out, what headlines are saying, analyze some indices, and then get a good idea of where the markets might be headed. Let me share this out to our page and we will get right to it. So share this out if you don't mind among your pages on your page and we will get started. All right. I have that over here. Let's see. All right, welcome. Once again, thank you for tuning in, everybody. This is Money Moves Sundays, where we analyze the markets, indices, headlines, and give an expectation of what we think the currency markets are going to do in the coming week to see how we can profit from it. So let's get right to it. Forex Factory is a news headline app or site that we normally will look at and tell us what's coming up so that we don't get blindsided. There's gonna be times when news comes out unexpected that'll blindside you if you're on the wrong side of that trade. But for today, not a lot coming out. Tomorrow, Monday, August 3rd, US dollar ISM manufacturing and then later in the evening, US time, Australia is gonna report their cash rate and their rate statement expected to stay the same. If you'll notice, many countries are at a low 0.25% interest. Do you know that this could go lower, could go to zero? Do you know it could go negative where they'll pay you to borrow money? Yes, it's been done before. And then on Tuesday, New Zealand's gonna report their employment change quarter over quarter, unemployment rate expected to rise a little bit, 5.5%. On Wednesday, more ISM manufacturing and New Zealand inflation. On Thursday, Bank of England is gonna report their monetary policy and they're gonna have their policy summary, official bank rate. They're lowering it, or it's at 0 0.10. So a 10th of a percent on their borrowing. And then on Friday, non-farm payroll for the US, that's when we would expect some big movement, unemployment rate. They're saying that it's going to drop a little bit more, that we've had more people go back to work. Eh, not sure about that. A lot of places still closed and others shut back, uh, shut, shut down further. So we will see how this plays out on Friday morning. When it comes to the news headlines, let's see what they're talking about. Uh, Trump says he's gonna take action on Chinese software firms in the coming days, very interesting and that he is saying TikTok, he will ban TikTok through an executive action. That's a Chinese app that can spy on people. So if you have TikTok on your phone or your kids have it on your phone, you might wanna look into that because they say it has uh, spying capabilities, gathering information. And Trump's big deal is separation from China and dependence on Chinese goods to try to take the country in a different direction. Um, let's see, they're still arguing, squabbling over this $1,200 stimulus check and saying they're deadlocked on unemployment. You know, there's just politics. That's all I could say. A lot of, a lot of nonsense, these people back and forth. And I believe one side is definitely more about, um, uh, not helping that they want to stall and railroad, do whatever they can to make everything look bad because they want to make the current administration look bad. It's just the way it is. And if you can't see that, well, you're blind as a bat. That's just plain and simple. Anybody can see it. So the other thing you might have seen headlines where Eastman Kodak, they had a uh, big deal that came through for, I want to say, $700 million and it bailed them out that if you would have held options, for a certain amount uh, or a certain option contract, a, a call, then 10,000 would have been like $400 million or something along those lines. Most people aren't gonna hold the option contract because they were expecting 
devastation. So very few would have bought that or even spent 10,000 and been like throwing it in the uh, garbage or in a uh, shredder, paper shredder. Most people wouldn't have done that. So easier said, make a big deal about it, but options can make you a lot of money if you're on the right side of something that comes out. Though 90% of options expire worthless. Okay, let's see. Uh, here's something funny. Trump's threatened TikTok ban could motivate young users to vote because they want to keep their TikTok and they don't understand the spying and everything else that goes along with it. All right, let's take a look at the indices. Australia, you see it's still pushing up in this area called a supply zone, potential sell-off that could be coming or a cooling off period. We broaden that out. You see it's kind of pulling back just a little bit. Nice, strong trend line straight up. Are we going to break that trend line? If we do, we'll come back to this level, a nice hard drop, uh, maybe even to this level somewhere around here. So I'm expecting Australia to, to turn back soon. It hadn't happened yet, obviously, still pushing. But we are due for a correction with Australia. The new month has begun. So things are going to look pretty different going forward in the month of August. So a lot of shenanigans Volatility took place at the end of the month. As you can see with the US dollar, well, we're way down here kind of in a demand zone. It's come just plummeted. But if you look, uh, zoom back in here and you see how it kind of turned on Friday and started bouncing up. So it looks like we may be ready. However, the new month is Starting here in about 45 minutes, new moon candle is going to open, and I'm expecting that it's going to come down double bottom, which will put in a wick for the new month candle, and then we're going to rally for the next month, rally for August on the U.S. dollar. So expecting Australian dollar to turn and come down, U.S. dollar to turn and head up, euro. Let's see, the euro is also way up and it's the anti-dollar. So it is starting to pull back and it looks like euro may cool off now and have a nice pullback if you look and see how it's gone straight up. Well, normally when you run that far that fast, you're going to have a little pullback. So it came all the way up to here. And if you look left, you can see we have a lot of resistance, support way back over here. So that is is due for a pullback, so Euro as well. All right, let's take a look at some charts. This is oil, a chart of oil, as you can see, fell through the floor and then bounced. And now we're just kind of rolling over. And there's speculation that the US government, and Fed and uh, other country governments are propping up the price of oil. All in here, these are, this is the daily chart. So they're trying to keep it around 40, 41. We had a big drop on Thursday. Came way down to 38, call it 75, give or take. And then bounce way back up 40, 40, 30, uh, 40, 43. However, I'm expecting that it's gonna come back down. Well, they are really propping it up and holding that level. So don't know, it's starting to look bearish like it wants to fall, meh. This is a hanging man candle on the weekly time frame right here. So the new weeks, that's a bearish candle, very bearish indicator at the top of a trend. So we're gonna wait and see what it's gonna do when it opens, it might bounce just a tad and then drop, but I'm expecting over the next few weeks it to come down. Still in a uh, shutdown and travel restriction, US citizens are not allowed to travel to into many countries. So a lot to deal with there. Let's look at gold. And everybody's all excited about gold. What has gold done? Well, that's gold on the month of August, uh, of July, right here, straight up. New month is going to open up. What's going to happen? Well, we are at 17. Let's see. We're at 1974 right now. We made all-time highs. If you come way back here in 2011, we hit 1923, give or take, 
on the price of gold. Then it came way down. And then over the last few months, we have just shot straight up and made an all time high at 1980, 38, give or take, or 1981, something. And so the new month is going to form. I'm expecting maybe a little push up. And then the bottom is going to fall out. We'll come all the way back to 1800, maybe even 1750 or 1700 for a correction. But this is straight up very hard. And whenever you see a long candle, you know that we're getting ready to be done. So that's called exhaustion. Getting ready to have a move to the other side. And here we go on the weekly, two long candles straight up. Small candles bouncing just a little bit up, 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 and then boop, and then whoop way up. So the new week, maybe just a little bit, take out these highs and bottom is going to fall out. That's what I'm thinking on gold. Okay. Let's look at the Dow US 30. So US 30 index, we had the big drop off February, March, April, May, June, July. And it's kind of slowing. So August, I'm expecting that we'll probably bounce just a little bit and then we're going to come down. I'm still somewhat bearish on the, the stock market because of the crisis we're in. There's no rhyme or reason why it's still being held up right here. On the weekly, real struggle that took place in the last couple of weeks. So again, we may have a stop hunt that will take it way up here to start. And then the bottom is going to fall out and we'll come way back down here to 24, 23, Maybe even 21 or 18, we could come way down here. It would be fast and furious if it does happen, but that's what I'm expecting. A lot of bearishness on the daily time frame, like it wants to break down through these support levels. Now, the NASDAQ is a different story. This is a tech on the weekly time frame. Here's a monthly time frame. This looks just like gold, straight up. But as I've explained, it's because most people are staying home and watching technology companies services are paying for it and they're on zoom a lot of things are going live on video conferencing so this is the monthly new month is going to form here in a little bit like i said i'm expecting a pullback in most of the markets so this was the week we had a big rally big move up back down big move up back down big move up and then like i said we're probably going to have a bounce up and then we're going to come down. I think we'll cool off and come all the way back to 9,800, maybe even to 9,000 on the NASDAQ. It's strong potential. We shall see. But look at that. Straight up, this is the daily time frame from way back here in March. It's just gone straight up. And now we've got a double top here. Potential for a triple top on the daily when this new candle opens up to come up here. Put in a triple top around 11,000. 100, give or take. And then that is an 86% rule of a reversal on a triple top. So looking good. As they say, yummy. Four hour time frame. Here's one top, two top. Next one expected around this range. Triple top. I would take the high probability trade of selling a triple top just beyond or around this range, which would be Right about there, 11,070. So I'd be willing to, put, to, to take it at 11,050 or you know, put, a, put a small order at 11,065 and then another one just outside the range at 11,075. And then a, another one at 11,100 and 105, just stack some orders in there for sell limits. And then like if you do a small one, 65, then double up at the next level watch your risk management and then triple up at the next level, quadruple at the next one, but you're, you're under trading. Your risk management is very low. Okay. And then if it comes up and it fills, it, it gets you in uh, bigger positions at the higher place. And then when the bottom falls out, you'll be in great shape because this is what I think is going to do a jump and then a drop big time, big time. All right. You chef, expecting uh, this to turn. It did come all the way up to 91. I'm expecting the coming off the bottom. This is a hour time frame. If we go to the daily time frame, big drop came way down here to 90, 60. And it looks like we're ready to turn. 
So daily time frame every day, red, 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 all the way for a few weeks. Uh, and then we are now looking like we're going to make a turn. So we could come and double bottom here first on the new month and then rally. That's, a, that's what you want to be ready for is the move back in the direction, which uh, to put in a double or triple bottom and then the reversal. That's the expectation on multiple setups coming up. Euro USD. If I go to the daily time frame, see it's been rallying. So I'm expecting a double top to form around 1.19 maybe. And then the bottom is going to fall out. So look for that fake out, take out. Any questions, anything you would like me to look at? Anybody in our uh, VIP Zoom chat, let me know if you have anything. If not, I am done for the day. It has been about 20 minutes. Yeah. don't have anything as yet. It seems you've analyzed what most are looking at. <laughs> All right. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Mine says Zoom is not responding. Oh. Facebook, if you have anything you would like me to look at, uh, please let me know. I'm unable. I'm going to close the program and come back in here. Uh, saying wait for program to respond. Something fouled up on Zoom and probably too much going on. All right. It looks like we're having some technical difficulties, but we've covered quite a bit. So just want to say thank you for logging in and stay tuned to Global Trading Army. We've got some big news coming out in the next uh, few months. Big things are going to happen, big changes. You're going to want to be a part of it. So be sure to keep in touch with us, keep tabs on us, and you'll be thankful you did. That is all for now. Uh, Y'all have a great rest of your day, great week, and we'll see you on the inside. GlobalTradingArmy.com. Find us on the free Telegram app, download Telegram app, and find us in our chat room, GTA chat room, and we can correspond there. Goodbye now. Thanks, Justin. Thank you, everyone.